Well, he could say that you was about to get your ass whipped by Saucy Santana. Oh, that shit wasn't going to happen. Because <laughs> get what? Because here's the thing. Even with the shit with me and Saucy, it was so funny. Man, you know how many people came out, was mad at me because I said what I said in the interview with you? I'm not, I, I, I am entitled to be who the fuck I am. Period. If I don't feel comfortable doing something, I'm not doing it. You know how I many times people don't call me and say, hey, bro, we want to book you for this. It's going to be out here, you know what I'm saying? You know, gang territory and shit, but you're going to be with us. I might not feel comfortable. I might not do it. If some atheists book me right now, hey, we don't believe in God, but we love your music. We fucking with you. We want to book you for a show. If I don't feel comfortable, nigga, I'm not going. It's just that simple. So... It is what it is. And again, Saucy Santana, for him to be a gay man and be able to say, hey, you're entitled to your opinion. That lets you know all that was some bullshit. Man, I had all kind of people wanted to boycott my show, my morning show. I'm like, for what? Because I'm uncomfortable doing something? I don't I don't know. Just, just like right now, do, how often do Christians go and visit a, 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 a Buddhist temple? You know what I'm saying? How often, how, how often does a Christian man go to a, a, a Catholic church? You know what I'm saying? How, when was the last time a free person decided they wanted to just go and walk through the jail to take a tour through the prison for a scared straight program? I just want to go see. Nigga, you ain't if, if you're not comfortable with doing that, that ain't your thing. That ain't your thing. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, man, shouts out to everybody in the world. I don't give a fuck what you do, what you believe in, man. Just don't cross me and we good. You know, Vlad sat down with Boosie, as he always does, and Boosie was like, yo, he the only one speaking up for straight people. He's well, like the... Well, at the time, he felt like that. He, he felt like that. I speak, up for, I speak up for straight people all the time. I speak up for straight people all the time. Hell, but I've spoken up for gay people before. Because at the end of the day, listen, human rights is what it is. Human, human rights is not determined by a color. Human rights should not be determined by sexual preference or sexual orientation. Human rights is human rights, bro. You know, he was talking, I know he was talking about this shit at Planet Fitness. Yeah, that was fucked up. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. It was. It was. I spoke out about it on my morning show. I did. I thought it was crazy. I thought it was absolutely absurd. I feel like if if you're going to have this whole this open world policy, create a space so it's no misunderstandings and no mishaps. Because I, 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 I mean, I, I couldn't lie to you, you know, that, that was a woman who walked in there and saw this man shaving, and he does not look like he identifies as a woman. But just because he doesn't look like that to you does not mean that's how he feels on the inside. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if it was me and my daughter came out of that bathroom to me, it's a man in her shaving, I'm not going to say I'm going to go in there and do nothing to him. But I probably would have had to be like, yo, I'm not just taking no picture. I'm calling the manager. Hey, what's going on? We're going to have to document this shit because what is that? And to be honest with you, I might not even be pissed off if they was to cancel my motherfucking subscription or my membership because guess what? Right now, I don't feel safe in this situation. I, I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe for my daughter or any little girls that's walking in there. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them things. Cause, cause imagine the, the troubles or the issues that would happen if a woman walked into the men's restroom and she just looked like a just a fine ass woman and, and she just ended up combing her hair, titties out. She just combed her hair. Man. Hey, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm a man. Mm -mm. Them, them look like yo. Them, mm -mm. Just imagine the problems that come with that shit. So it is what it is. Because, you know, I don't be want to get caught up and go down the rabbit holes because I've done it a few times on here. And I think that's why I continue to come back because some kind of way it happens. But that's me being transparent and candid. At the end of the day, Boosie. Boosie, know I love him. But he's not the only person that advocate for heterosexual people. And just because I advocate for heterosexual people does not mean I'm ever against homosexual people. Let me say that. Is it safe to say that?
Think it's safe. Ah, hear this shit tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So I, cause I love everybody, dog. I do. I really fucking do. I really do. I really do. Yo, uh, Nick Young, j- just stay, just staying. Come on. You know, on the whole Saucy Santana thing for a second. Nick Young and Gilbert Arenas, they oh. was having a conversation and they was talking about Saucy Santana twerking. Nick, Nick, Nick and Saucy is good friends, from what I understand. He says Saucy was a little, it was a little upset about that. Like, yo, how you, how you gonna get on that show and talk about me twerking? I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's no different. Like, first time I met Saucy Santana, I was, I was um, escorting Callie to the studio for him to jump on her record, right? And we spoke, you know, it's moments when he kind of man up, but he's still who he is. Like, you know, you know, when you, when it's mano and mano, he kind of, he's still true to who he is, but you, I can see the difference in the level up at that moment. I let you know, like, I'll fight, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and <laughs> so for us to be cool, because even he said it in the scene, like, yo, we was cool. Like, we never had no issues. So I was just wondering why would you say something like this? I don't have anything against, like I said, him. And so I understood where he was coming from, but I understood how it happened with Nick. Nick, like, yeah, he was asked a question. He said what he said about, like, Saucy Santana, a cool person, cool friend or whatever. Your boy didn't know about who he was or he acted as if he didn't know. And that's why Nick was like, oh, man, don't look him up. You're going to say something funny. So he, that was letting you know, like, Nick wasn't even on the bullshit. Nick was just like, all right, man, like, come on, man. I don't even do all that because I already know what's going to happen. They met, uh, it appears that they met on the set of uh, College Hill. Correct. And they had to be roomies in the dorm. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right then, that moment, you might be like, all right, man, bro, cool. He just, this is his lifestyle. But in all actuality, yo, he's standing on the business of what he believes in. He's successful. He's adamant about loving the people he loves. And that's what it is. You can respect that, right? So he knew that. Your boy was gonna laugh about the shit. Your boy started laughing about the shit. And it put you in a position where you're like, oh man, I knew this shit was gonna happen. Don't necessarily mean he laughing at Saucy. Saucy had some words fired back. Like, Nick, you know, goddamn, you know I ain't with the bullshit. You know, we supposed to be cool. We, we, we kinda, we kinda kicked it off on some some cool shit. Cool by ya. You saw what your man did. What's his name? Gilbert. Yeah, Gilbert Arenas. He went back. He thought about it. He said, I don't want to take on this problem. I don't want to be counseled or I don't want to be looked at like I'm bashing. But can I laugh? If something funny to me, can I laugh? Think about it. He saw a grown man twerking with a beard, a a goddamn full back with a beard, lashes, lip gloss, nails. That's not just something you see every day. So he found it funny. He was truly who he was. He laughed about it. Okay, Saucy got back. Saucy got on his head talking shit. You know what he did? He pulled Olivia Pope, his damn self, switch gear. Yo, I did see, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie. If I seen him twerking and Meg twerking, I'm probably gonna tip Saucy. What Saucy do? Oh, okay, baby daddy, send me a cash app, Zell. He turned that shit around. But see, that's the that 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 thing, him doing that, the average cat don't know how to do that. Because when that shit flip on you, you trying to, I'm standing on being, I, I said what I said, and then you wanna get mad because people, nah, he's just like, all right, cool. I know how to play, I know how to play y'all game. I've been around long enough. Been had money, been around niggas that's like this. And I had to work with them because it wasn't, yeah, I tip you. Yeah, we cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That boy could twerk now. All you gotta do is make people laugh. Think about it. That's why comedians are able to get away with so much shit. When you laughing, ha, 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 throw a little truth in. Take that with you, a little snap back. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. But yeah, I did see that. I thought that was very clever of Gilbert. I saw it, I was like, ah. 